him. Another symbol of the recovery from Superstorm Sandy on Long Island South Shore. The Long Beach movie house wrecked by floodwaters reopened for business. CBS 2's Dana Tyler has the story. Clerks gladly accepted orders for soda and popcorn today as the doors reopened at the Long Beach Cinema's movie theater, long a mainstay of the oceanfront community. But like everything else near the ocean, it was wrecked by Superstorm Sandy. When it closed down, you know, it kind of got me sad because now it's another half hour of car trip to the next movie theater. Teens once again crowded the ticket counter, but the theater's reopening brought people from far and wide. It's nice to see the theater open after three years and hard to believe that this town, what it went through three years ago, and now it's alive, and we came from the city to spend the week here on our vacation from Manhattan. But what's old is also new. Many of the returning customers say they appreciate some of the new features of the theater. Moviegoers can now reserve and even choose which seat they want. All of the seats soaked by Sandy's floodwaters have been replaced with chairs that have more room to stretch out. The reopening after extensive repairs has also meant Rudy Ferreira got his job back as a ticket clerk. It was my first job. Uh, you know, I got to see movies for free. It was nice. And uh, I just, you know, I, I know a lot of people in town. And it's nice to see them. Judith Cohn says the reopening will boost the recovering beach economy year round. Very important because there's no Nothing for the kids to do when it's raining. The big screens in all four theaters have been replaced. There is a new roof, and critical equipment has been moved higher in hopes the silver screen is never shut down again. In Long Beach, Dana Tyler, CBS 2 News. Well, the Long Beach Theater had hoped to open last year, but repairs, like everywhere else in town, took much longer than expected.